and it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. Yea, and all the prophets from Samuel and those that follow after as many as have spoken have likewise foretold of these days. Ye are the children of the prophets and of the covenant which God made with our fathers saying unto Abraham and in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. Unto you first, God, having raised up his son Jesus, sent him to bless you in turning away every one of you from his iniquities. Last week, the Most High put a spotlight on blasphemers, false prophets, and teachers. The sin of blasphemy is not a priority to some teachers, prophets, and religious leaders. The spirit of pride have made many people become blasphemers in the end times. Some Israelites and strangers didn't know blaspheming the anointed prophets and teachers of the Most High was a sin. Some Israelites didn't know blaspheming the Holy Spirit is an unforgivable sin. Wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men, but the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. And whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven him, neither in this world neither in the world to come. Israelites, did you hear the scripture? Blaspheming the Holy Spirit is an unforgivable sin in the times we're living in, also in the world to come. If Israelites and strangers understood how serious the sin of blasphemy is, not too many Israelites would be reckless with their words. In addition, before they accuse or slander a person, they would seek the face of the Father in sincerity. Because a great majority of Israelites didn't know how serious the sin of blasphemy was, they weren't kind to the brothers and sisters they deemed to be false teachers and prophets. These individuals would slander the person without thinking twice. You can find plenty slanderous videos made by individuals and groups in the other awakening. That's how you know a great majority of Israelites are unaware of the consequences to their actions. For their lack of knowledge, many Israelites are perishing. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. The scriptures gave us instructions on how to handle open or righteous rebuke. The most highest instructions are always ignored. Majority of these so-called rebukes is based on the individual's opinions and beliefs. The Most High, the Father, didn't send them to rebuke anyone. Israelites, that is why it's important to deal with the beam in your eyes first before you try to take a plank out of your brother's and sister's eyes. A hundred percent of the slanderous videos are done by individuals operating out of their own will. The Most High, the Father, didn't send them. The Most High is letting his people know that he's not looking past their ignorance anymore. The Most High is holding his people accountable. That is why the awakening is happening to give the remnant the chance to repent. For as much then as we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone graven by art and man's device. In the times of this ignorance, God winked at but now commandeth all men everywhere to repent. The Most High is calling for all people to repent. The awakening is not the time to become prideful and play with the words of the Most High. The awakening is about true repentance and returning to serve the Father in the spirit and in truth. Because of the times we're living in, the people of the Most High have to be vigilant more now than ever. Many prophecies spoken by the Most High through his anointed prophets are coming to pass. If you allow the spirit of pride to deceive you at this time, you will miss the signs of the times. The strong delusion as well as the reprobate mind sent by the Most High will cause all who deny the truth to live in a false reality. 
Israelites, I encourage you to spend time in the presence of the Most High. Ask the Most High to order your steps. Don't allow the kingdom of darkness through religion to order your steps. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Israelites, don't allow religion to control your beliefs. Don't allow the workers of iniquity and religion to interpret the scriptures for you. Religion is not of the most high. I have heard many Israelites in the awakening, as well as in religion, quote the verse that say, study to show yourself approved. If Israelites was truly studying to show themselves approved, the doctrines of devils, as well as false prophecies, wouldn't overtake the people of the most high for as long as it did. When you search the scriptures with the Holy Spirit, you will see that the scriptures don't support religious doctrines. You will also see how the so-called religious leaders and the sheep who follow them misquote the scriptures to form their own narratives. Studying to show yourself approved is allowing the Holy Spirit to open up the scriptures to you. Studying to show yourself approved doesn't consist of you reading the scriptures on your own accord to form your interpretation of the scriptures using human wisdom and logic. When you allow the Holy Spirit to open the scriptures, the Holy Spirit will fill in the missing pieces where the synagogue of Satan alter and remove. Israelites, when you study, make sure to study with the Holy Spirit. Study to show thyself approved unto God a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Before the Messiah's departure from the physical realm, he said to his disciples that he won't leave them comfortless. The Messiah said he would pray to the Father to send us another comforter in his name. The Messiah went on to say that the comforter, the Holy Spirit, would teach us all things as well as bring to our remembrance everything the Messiah have said. Israelites, that is why we must study to show ourselves approved with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit would teach us all things and bring everything the Messiah have taught to our remembrance. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. When we use the carnal mind to interpret what is spiritual, the result is what we're seeing today in the other awakening. Division, pride, blasphemy, and iniquity increasing amongst the people who proclaim to have returned to serve the Father in the spirit and in truth. A repentant Israelite is not consuming other people's faults and sins. They are aware that they're barely making it into the coming kingdom. A humble Israelite will focus on producing the kind of fruits that obtain the favor of the Most High to inherit the coming kingdom. The Israelites that truly return to serve the Father in the spirit and in truth will look for ways to contribute to the Most High's kingdom instead of setting poor examples that cause those who are watching to reject the awakening and the Most High. Remember, a person's behavior unveil a lot of truth. That is why the scripture said, by their fruits, you will know them. Set good examples. Wherefore, by their fruits, you shall know them. As the signs of the times are making themselves known to us, prophecies that was written many generations prior are being fulfilled. We have to immerse ourselves with the word of the Most High to not fall for the lying wonders of the Satan's. Before we get into Satan's ministers, prophets, and teachers, Israelites, it's important for you to have discernment. Ask the Father for a double portion of the spirit of discernment in the times we're living in. The scriptures prophesy that many false prophets, teachers, and messiahs will rise in the end time. As a people, we have to be able to identify the kingdom of darkness ministers, prophets, teachers, leaders, and disciples. The earth was given into the hands of the wicked. The wicked have been in control for a really long time. Because the earth is in the hands of the wicked, we have to look at the people who control the beast system with the Satans to recognize Satan's agents among us. Satan imitates everything the Most High does. It's through imitations Satan deceived the whole world. Israelites, that is why it's important to test the spirit of everyone to see if they are of the Most High. The scripture said many false prophets have been unleashed into the beast system. Beloved, 
believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. The Most High said that he didn't send these prophets that prophesy in his name. False prophets have been prophesying in the name of the Most High for countless generations, and they haven't heard a word from the Father. We can read in the scriptures of how false prophets, teachers, and leaders misled our ancestors. Israelites, if you're going to listen to prophecies that can mold your beliefs, make sure to consult with the Most High. Put the Most High first in everything. That way, when a so-called prophet is prophesying, if it's true, it will bring confirmation to what you've discussed with the Most High in your personal fellowship. If the prophecy or teaching is not of the Most High, the Holy Spirit will give you a nudge to alert you. We all have experienced a nudge from the Holy Spirit. Guilty conscience is a nudge. When your intuition tells you not to do certain things or not to go to a certain place, that is a nudge from the Holy Spirit. When you spend a great amount of time in the presence of the Father, you will begin to notice the nudges and the voice of the Most High. The scripture said the sheep of the Most High know his voice and they follow him. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, that they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father which gave them me is greater than all. And no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. I will share with you an experience I had to help you understand how the Holy Spirit is present and active in our lives. This experience happened to me when I was at the last phase of my Christian walk. I asked the Father to help me find a Bible that would help me understand his words. After asking the Most High through prayer to help me find a Bible that I can understand, I made plans to go to the Christian bookstore by my house. A few days after my prayer, I received a knock on my door. When I opened the door, it was two men from the Mormon church. They were going around inviting people to their assembly, as well as promoting some sort of book. I noticed the Jesus pen they were wearing. As the two men began to speak, I couldn't understand anything they were saying. They were talking, and I can see their mouths moving, but I couldn't understand them. All I heard was blah, 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 blah. It was like they were speaking a foreign language. I didn't realize what was happening until after the fact. After they left, I realized the Most High through the Holy Spirit covered my ears from hearing their words. I guess back then I was impressionable. If I heard about whatever book they were promoting, I would have purchased the Bible or book thinking it was the Bible the Most High wanted me to have. I remember declining whatever they wanted, and the very next day I went to the store, and the Most High led me to the Amplified Version of the Bible. Satan sent Mormons to deceive me. The Most High protected me through the Holy Spirit by covering my ears. Israelites, this is an example of how the Holy Spirit can nudge at you or intercede on your behalf. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. Until this day, I have no idea what they said. Israelites, as you grow spiritually, you will begin to notice the little things the Most High does to help us daily. That is why a personal relationship is important, especially in these last days. If I didn't recognize the Most High's intervention in my situation, I would have thought the devil was trying to interfere with what the Mormons were saying to me that day. Discernment is extremely important for such a time like this. Satan's imitations would have a form of godliness, but far from the truth. When you spend time in the presence of the Most High, you will recognize the Holy Spirit's warnings. Israelites, the Holy Spirit nudges or warnings will alert you about the false prophets, teachers, and leaders, lying wonders, prophecy, and teachings. Some signs to look for when you hear the so-called truth and prophecy that doesn't align with the words of the Most High. Does the prophecy or teaching disturb your spirit? When I say disturb your spirit, I'm talking about causing you to worry, become fearful, or cause you to have anxieties. 
We all have been conditioned about the end of the world. We all know the Most High would judge the earth. We know the lake of fire exists. We know that the day of the Most High is coming. When I hear of these prophecies, I'm not fearful, anxious, or worried. I know that these things must happen. I put my trust in the Father to protect me through his protection. I find peace. The peace of the Most High will comfort you. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. When you hear prophecy or truth, from so-called prophets and teachers that invite the spirit of fear, anxiety, worry, sadness. You have to consult the Father for answers. The truth of the Most High's words will pierce your spirit to bring change. However, the piercing of your spirit will happen in a way that won't crush your spirit. The spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity, but a wounded spirit who can bear? If you become overly emotional, take a step back and wait on the Father through the Holy Spirit to guide you into all truth. Emotions are unstable, which can lead to doubt. The piercing of the Spirit through the truth of the Most High's words will bring change. A crushed spirit will disable you. Know the difference. The prophets, teachers, and leaders of Satan will be popular. They will have a large following and they will get a push in the algorithm on social media. Their voice will be promoted on television. They will appear to be successful in everything he or she does. Keep in mind, Israelites, not all teachers, prophets, leaders with a large following on social media are false teachers and prophets. Know that the false prophets who promote the ideology of the beast culture and support the doctrines of Rome will be pushed in the algorithm. Anything that is meant to misguide you will be promoted on social media, television, and everywhere in the beast culture. The high-level pastors in the churches, majority of them have great material wealth. Many people are deceived into believing wealth equals anointing. The same for followers and views on social media. These things doesn't mean the person is anointed. Remember, by their fruits, you will know them. Wherefore, by their fruits you shall know them. The scriptures let us know that the men of sin, the Antichrist, he will win the hearts of the people through flatteries. The men of sin will not be popular. Deception is the fuel that will elevate the men of sin in the minds and hearts of the people. That is why it's important for you to test the spirits of your leaders, prophets, teachers, and everyone you invite into your life. Everyone should be tested to see if they are of the most high. False prophets, teachers, and leaders will make it appear as if they serve the God of Israel. The laws they follow are the laws of men. They will make themselves appear to be serving the Most High, but they will support the beast system. For example, the Bible said homosexuality is a sin. You will see the false teachers, pastors, prophets say, love is love, following the beast culture's slogans to welcome the spirit of perversion. Beware of the wolves in sheep clothing. The anointed teachers of the Most High will have a difficult time in the B system. If social media is their platform, they will be shadow banned. The anointed teachers, prophets, and leaders of the Most High will experience a lot of rejection. They will be hated and disliked by those who support the B system. Their own people will reject them and dislike them because the anointed people of the Most High are misunderstood. The scripture said, you will be hated for his namesake. In addition, the Messiah said, if the world hate you, know that it hated him first before it hated you. If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that endureth to the end shall be saved. The anointed teachers, prophets, leaders will have the same outcome with the Messiah as well as with the disciples who followed the Messiah wholeheartedly. Peter was crucified upside down. The workers of iniquity cut off John the Baptist's head and put it on a platter. Many of the disciples suffered horrible death. The anointed teachers will be hated by many. They will be attacked spiritually and physically. They are not going to be popular. The reason they won't be popular, the world only accepts its own. Israelites, this is important because if the world accepts a so-called anointed teacher of the Most High, he or she is compromised. The world only accepts its own. 
If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. If you're not a part of the beast culture or system, the people who fellowship with the world and welcome the beast culture will reject you. The truth the anointed teachers, prophets, and leaders teach is like a dagger stabbing the hearts of the people who accept the beast culture. The workers of iniquity will exclude the anointed teachers, prophets, and leaders of the Most High to continue in their sins. To the anointed, there's absolutely nothing wrong with you. If you're being ridiculed, shamed, slandered by your own and outsiders, continue to represent the Most High. They treated the Messiah the exact same way. To the anointed teachers, leaders, prophets, hang in there. The scripture said, great is your rewards if you faint not. Keep speaking the truth of the Most High's words. Death is the beginning to eternity in paradise for you. When the Most High begins to judge the false prophets, teachers, and leaders, you will see how quickly the popular prophets of this world will end their career as prophets, teachers, and leaders. In due time, their foot will slip. You will see their true colors. To me belongeth vengeance and recompense. Their foot shall slide in due time. For the day of their calamity is at hand, and the things that shall come upon them make haste. Right now, it's cool to some people to be woke and lead others. Israelites, watch out for spiritual leaders who's all talk. When trouble comes, they're nowhere to be found. Your governments, they start wars and the people suffer. Remember when COVID happened, the people who allowed the virus to leak, we don't know their names or where they're from. They weren't held accountable for their actions. The civilians all over the world suffered. They tried to blame the people for spreading a virus leaked by so-called professionals. The false prophets and teachers don't practice what they preach. When the time comes for the Most High to judge the modern day prophets, leaders, and teachers, you will see how fast they denounce being a prophet, teacher, and leader. All therefore whatsoever they bid you observe, that observe and do. But do not ye after their works, for they say and do not. For they bind heavy burdens, and grievous to be borne, and lay them on men's shoulders. For they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. But all their works they do for to be seen of men. They make broad their phylacteries, and enlarge the borders of their garments. Remember when Judas Iscariot agreed to betray the Messiah for a few pieces of silver? After his betrayal towards the Messiah, Judas became remorseful. Judas thought returning the money would relieve his guilty conscience. Judas thought the Pharisees he partnered with to betray the Messiah would support him. Those leaders dismissed him. In addition, they could care less about his troubles. Likewise, Israelites, on the day of judgment, when you stand before the Most High and all the doctrines you accepted as truth turns out to be false, can you rely on those prophets who told you you are what your father is? Esau is the white man. Jesus is God in the flesh and the laws are done away with. Explain to the Most High on your behalf. The leaders and prophets you rely on can't save you. When the time came for Judas Iscariot to deal with the consequences of his actions, the leaders he trusted and put his confidence in said to him, It's none of our business. Then Judas, which had betrayed him, when he saw that he was condemned, repented himself and brought again the thirty pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders, saying, I have sinned and that I have betrayed the innocent blood. And they said, What is that to us? See thou to that. And he cast down the pieces of silver in the temple and departed and went and hanged himself. Israelites, you will see how fast the false prophets and teachers that was accepted by the world denounce being a prophet or teacher of the Most High when judgment come upon them. When the persecution of the righteous come, you will see how fast the pretenders reject the Most High. So many people believe they will honor the Most High unto death. You may desire that, but you don't know what is truly in your heart. When persecution comes, that is when you will find out if your heart is perfect towards the Most High. Peter thought he would never betray the Messiah. When the Messiah told him he would reject him three times, Peter confidently said he would never do such a thing. A few days later, when persecution came, Peter rejected the Messiah he vowed to follow unto death. 
Now Peter sat without in the palace, and a damsel came unto him, saying, Thou also wast with Jesus of Galilee. But he denied before them all, saying, I know not what thou sayest. And when he was gone out into the porch, another maid saw him, and said unto them that were there, This fellow was also with Jesus of Nazareth. And again he denied with an oath, I do not know the man. And after a while came unto him they that stood by, and said to Peter, Surely thou also art one of them, for thy speech betrayeth thee. Then began he to curse and to swear, saying, I know not the man. And immediately the cock crew. And Peter remembered the word of Jesus, which said unto him, Before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. And he went out and wept bitterly. Israelites, don't let pride deceive you. You must pray and ask the Father to preserve you in the end times. Peter walked with the Messiah. Peter followed the Messiah. When the time came for him to stand firm, he rejected the Messiah. Likewise, the popular prophets, teachers, and leaders of this world are bold and make themselves appear to be powerful men and women at the Most High. Some have great wealth, while others have a large following. Watch how quickly they reject the Most High. Watch how fast they will denounce being a prophet and teacher when their persecution comes. Many of you who exalt them will be confused when your leaders, prophets, and teachers you put over yourselves run from the battle. Israelites, don't use popularity to determine a person's anointing. We all have seen and can testify how the pastors and their family are prosperous and the congregation is poor. The pastor can escape natural disasters while the members of the church loses everything. Don't let popularity deceive you into following the ministers of Satan. The scripture said what is popular in this world is an abomination to the most high. And he said unto them, Ye are they which justify yourselves before men, but God knoweth your hearts, for that which is highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of God. Israelites, now that you have an idea of what to look for in false prophets and teachers, as well as how to differentiate the anointed from the tares, let's look into prophecy. The scripture said that the false prophets will be able to do great miracles. If it was possible, they would deceive the elect with the great signs and wonders. The Messiah prophesied this truth many generations ago. As the end time generation, we have to prepare ourselves for the lying wonders from the Satans. It doesn't take much to deceive many indigenous black people. Can you imagine when the ministers of Satan begin to do great miracles to make you believe he or she is of the Most High? Israelites, we have to take advantage of the time the Most High has given us in the awakening before the lying wonders of Satan deceive the hearts and minds of many. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Some of these false prophets are already deceiving many with lying wonders in the church. The laying of hands and the person pretending to pass out by the ghost that is tormenting them. That is a great deception going on in the church right now. The scriptures inform us in the end time that the false prophets and false messiahs are capable of showing great signs and wonders. The Satans will turn it up a notch. The Messiah warn us not to follow anyone when they say, look, the Messiah is here or the Messiah is over there. I will repeat, it doesn't take much to deceive the indigenous black people. I can't imagine when Satan's ministers who proclaim to be prophets of the most high begin to show great signs and wonders. There's over 3 billion believers in Christianity alone. The moment they see the lying wonders from the Satans, they will believe. They are believers. If they would search the scriptures with the Holy Spirit, they would hear the warnings. We just heard the Messiah saying in the scriptures, if anyone comes to you and say, here is the Messiah, believe them not. Satan's imitations have a form of godliness, but far from the truth. When the Messiah comes back, everyone alive will see him at the same time. For as the lightning cometh out of the east, and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. 
If mainstream media show you a CGI image or video of a false messiah and prophets doing great miracles in Europe or anywhere in the world, know that it's not the true messiah. Everyone that is alive when the word of God return will see him. If mainstream media decided to share breaking news and show a random person doing great miracles and they tell you it's Christ, you should know that is false. Mainstream media are part of the synagogue of Satan. In addition, the Messiah will not return quietly. If a viral video on social media show the Messiah returning into the world, don't believe it. The returning of the Messiah have to correspond with what is written. Also, the false prophets, teachers, and messiahs are not the only ones who are capable of doing great miracles in the end times. The multiple beasts that will rise in the earth can also do great miracles. These miracles will deceive many. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon, and he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him. And causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. Saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. As you heard, Israelites, the beast will be able to do great miracles. Miracles such as having fire come down from the heavens. The beast system operates in deception. The Satan's imitation will deceive many in the end times. Israelites, that is why it's important for you to seek the face of the Father while you have the time to do so. The miracles and great signs and wonders from the false prophets and false messiahs will deceive all the people whose names not written in the book of life. This is why I say to the Israelites in the awakening, you should have nothing in common with the beast religion. There's absolutely no truth in the beast religion. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. If any man have an ear, let him hear. If the world is worshiping a certain deity as God, Israelites, you shouldn't follow the world and worship their false idol. Remember, the world only accepts its own, and we are not a part of the world. Israelites, you shouldn't create a remix to the same deity the Gentiles worship. There is no truth in the ministers of Satan and the spiritual wickedness in high places that control the beast system with the Satans. If you find yourself worshiping the same God as the world, your name is not written in the Lamb's Book of Life. The scriptures you just heard said, everyone whose name is not written in the Book of Life will worship the beast. We are a set-apart people. We should be the ones teaching the Gentiles as the royal priesthood of the Most High. The Gentiles should be cleaving to us. During these times, no Israelites should be following after the Gentiles for spiritual guidance. The Gentiles know religion. By now, you should know religion is witchcraft and idolatry. Israelites, the prophecies of false prophets and messiahs doing great signs and wonders will happen during the tribulation. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Everything written will be fulfilled. The purpose of prophecy is to prepare us for the events to come. As the end time generation, living in the time where the gospel of the kingdom is being heard as a witness to all nations, we should be utilizing our time carefully. As soon as all the nations hear the gospel of truth, the end will come. Israelites, this is why we need to come together as a people to return to the Most High. Know that the ministers of Satan, the spiritual wickedness in high places, are preparing for the coming of their Messiah, the men of sin, the Antichrist. While they are preparing for their Messiah, they are programming you in the process. Israelites, it's important for you to be able to discern the real from the fake, the truth from the lies. 
The road is getting narrow. We have to do our part as the people of the Most High. We can't rely on the kingdom of darkness, falsehoods to save us. Ignorance is not going to protect us. The Most High is giving his people the time to repent and to return to him. Use this time to increase your knowledge. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Israelites, I can guarantee the false Christ and prophets are not wasting their time debating on which deception to use against us. The awakening is a precious time for all Israelites to humble themselves to hear from the Most High. The Most High told us the end from the beginning to alert us of the false prophets, teachers, and false Christ that will appear in the end times. The false messiahs and prophets are not wasting their time debating about doctrine. The ministers of Satan know they have to do the will of the Satans because their time is short. Israelites, the scripture said, the Most High will pour out his spirit on all flesh and we will prophesy. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. We have to learn to recognize the voice of the Most High speaking through the prophets and teachers set apart for this generation. Israelites, you're obligated to know how to identify the anointed prophets, teachers of this generation from the fake. Religion have taught you to rely on others to do the work for you. That's not how it works in the awakening and when you have a personal relationship with the Father. You have to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Israelites, now is the time to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You can't rely on other people to do the work for you. You must seek the face of the Most High to withstand the prophecies set for the end times. Establish a relationship with the Father to get the behind the scenes information to what's happening in our generation. Everything you want to know, the Most High will reveal it. The Father wants you to know who he is. The Father don't want his people to call him Baal anymore. The Father don't want his people to perish from a lack of knowledge. Israelites, seek the face of the Most High while he can be found. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Israelites, I hope you will begin to see the awakening in a new perspective. Don't allow the kingdom of darkness waste the little time we have on foolish debates and falsehoods. The Most High is looking for people he can show himself strong through. Allow the Most High to show himself strong through you. Don't give the kingdom of darkness the chance to turn you into a blasphemer in the end times. Israelites, give the Most High the opportunity to disciple you through the Holy Spirit. The truth will truly make you free. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God and none else, and my people shall never be ashamed. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit.